I hope you don't mind, I got the kids with me since my wife's out of town. This is Fergalicious and this is Fernie Sanders. So hopefully they don't get in the way of this video. GoPros are one of the best brands of action cameras on the market today, and they produce some killer videos. However, that doesn't mean that they don't come with their own set of problems that you may have already seen. Thanks to our sponsor, DigiArty Software, I'm gonna show you this totally free and easy to pick up and use software that will solve all of your GoPro problems. There are a lot of different ways to edit your GoPro videos, which is great if you want to have the same old edits that you've seen every other phone app do, but you obviously don't want that, and that's why you're watching this video. But it may require learning a little bit more about videos, even if that means learning a video editor. But let me tell you, one of the easiest to use and even free video editors on the market today is Videoproc Vlogger. This video editor for Windows and Mac lets you easily edit all your GoPro videos to make them stand out on your Instagram feed or any other social media platform. I really get it. Using a video editor sounds super scary, but DigiArty Software made it a priority to make Videoproc Vlogger easy to use, understand, and learn for anybody at any skill level. One of the coolest parts about GoPros is how versatile the videos are. You can speed up the video to build up to something or even slow down the footage to take everything in that's happening. And of course, that's with the right frame rate. And time out, because I mentioned the right frame rate, here's a little tip for you. If you wanna have awesome looking slow motion videos, make sure your frame rate is at least double of what your normal frame rate is. An easy way for me to remember that is that 30 frames per second is for normal speed, 60 frames per second is for slow motion, and 120 frames per second is for super slow motion. And don't worry, if you film something in a higher frame rate by accident and you still wanna play it in a normal speed, you can't, don't worry. After you've filmed your awesome slow motion videos, you can change the speed of the video clip easily in Videoproc Vlogger. And you can do that by clicking on the clip you wanna slow down, click the speed button, and it will open up the speed editor window. From here, you can play with different presets, such as montage, bullet, jump, fast in and out, and other sorts of things. Or if you wanna go manual, you can always right click on this timeline and press add point. You can then manipulate it by bringing it upwards to make it go faster or bring it downwards to make it go slower. And the speed of the video will actually follow that yellow line. Yeah, you can like manipulate it, change it, ramp it, all that kind of fun stuff, you know? It's pretty cool. And if you don't want something, just right click and press delete point. Another popular speed effect is making what's called a speed ramp. A speed ramp speeds up or slows down your footage to a particular point on your video. It's great for building up anticipation for something cool that you did in a video, like doing a gainer into a pool of water. Videoproc Vlogger has made a preset for speed ramps to make it super easy for you. All you need to do is press the jump preset, but you might have to change some of the points, which is totally fine. You just grab the dot and just move it different places. Or you can grab this marker and just move it left and right. And we'll start it. Look at that. Oh man, three, two, one, and he's go, and he's for the gainer, and he's in. See, pretty easy. Oh, okay, really quick. See how my footage looks super choppy when I do this? That's because I filmed this in 30 frames per second. When I slow it down, it doesn't have those extra frames to compensate for the slower frame rate, so it looks choppy. That's why I use my 30, 60, 120 rule for moments like this. And you can even double check what your footage was filmed in. All you need to do is click on the video clip, go to the inspector panel on the right side, and look at the top. You'll see the, the frames per second right there, and it'll tell you. When it says 29.97, that's basically 30 frames per second. After you're done getting the speed effect that you want and fine tuning it, click the apply button to apply it. If you wanna come back and change things, you can later just by clicking on the speed button again. One of the telltale signs that you filmed your video with an action camera is the fisheye effect. The fisheye effect it looks like you filmed your video in a bubble and it adds distortion to the edges of the video. And you'll find this a lot when filming using wide angle settings. But GoPro has made it a part of their brand and their look to their video, so that's why it's so popular. It's great to be used sparingly to show as much as you can around your subject, but really sometimes you just wanna remove that and focus on one thing that's happening. Well, Videoproc Vlogger makes it super easy to do that. All you have to do is click on the video, go to the inspector window on the right side, and then scroll down until you see the lens distortion correction. Then you're gonna check the checkbox, and you'll instantly see, this is fun, you can see the difference between the two, how it kind of like pushes in a little bit more, it corrects that distortion. And the first option you wanna pick is the camera that you used. For me, I use the GoPro Hero 8, so I'm gonna select that. Next, you'll select the camera view that I was filmed in, and for this one, I actually filmed it in wide. And this does a fantastic job of correcting that fisheye effect. 
But if you're feeling adventurous and you want to tweak it a little bit, you can always do that with a transform slider to change it to your liking or to even like make cool effects like, whoa, what is that? Like that's going to be kind of fun for something. Another cool way to edit your videos is by adding in different motion effects. Videoproc Vlogger has a whole library of motion effects for you to use. In the main window, all you really got to do again is select your clip and then press the motion button. From here, it'll open up the motion editor window and you'll see a bunch of different presets. For example, you can zoom in on your clip. You could also zoom out of it. You could literally move the clip left and right or up and down and even roll it, which is kind of fun, especially with that becoming more popular nowadays. Or you could have like cinematic openings or like closings where it just, it brings those black bars down or even up to reveal or hide anything, which is pretty fun to do. You can add other crazy effects like heartbeat. Let me show you this one. This one's always kind of fun. So I click on it and then I press play and then it's like, woo. Heartbeat, zoom in and out. That'd be kind of fun for some like, I don't know, it almost like you could throw in like some cool like techno music with it or something. But there's so many different presets that you can play around with. The possibilities are endless and it's kind of fun. And once you do find something that you like, you can always change the keyframes by clicking on them and just dragging them back and forth. Of course, they have to stay in between the ones that you've already created. So, but if you're not really happy with the preset that you've applied to your clip, you can always just move the keyframes, change them a little bit. But if you're like, ooh, this doesn't work for my clip at all, you can always hit the reset button to start over again. So after you're done and you have the motion effect the way that you like it, all you need to do is click the apply button. And of course, you can always come back later and change the settings by clicking on the motion button again. And then finally, after you've added in some amazing effects and made your footage look like a million dollars, you can export it for the world to finally see it. But before you export it, or even anytime you're working on your project, you can actually change the final resolution size, frame rate, and aspect ratio just by clicking on this button right here. It's super awesome that DigiArty built in different exporting presets for so many different platforms, including Instagram, TikTok, iPhones, Samsung phones, 4K screens, and even more. And also side note, a lot of other free software will actually limit you in your exports. So you can only get like 1080p or even lower, or they'll throw in a watermark on your video when you export it. Videoproc Vlogger doesn't do any of that. Once you're ready to show off your video, all you'll need to do is click the export button on the right side of the main window and it'll bring up the export menu. From here, you'll have a lot of awesome settings that you can choose from, including changing the video quality, if you want to have the audio in your video, and even more. But it's okay if you don't know what all of these settings mean. The default settings that come as is are great. But if you have questions about these, I cover some of these settings in my beginner video next week. But when you're ready to export your masterpiece, hit start. These features that I covered are only the tip of the iceberg of what DigiArty's VideoProc Vlogger can do. You can add filters, change individual colors in the video, reverse them, and even more. I'll go over a ton of these features that I really couldn't fit into this video and how to use the software like a pro in my beginner's guide. Once that goes live, I'll put the video right here. But in the meantime, if you're looking for the top action cameras that you can get right now to get amazing footage, then you should check out this video.